Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film. Bite. Spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with three girls going to Costa Rica for a vacation. Kirsten and the blonde girl named Flirty are celebrating the engagement of their best friend, Casey. The group is recording their whole vacation with their camera. They excitedly go to their accommodation. While inside their hotel room, Casey shouts that there is a huge insect inside the bathroom. She opens the door and shows the others the strange insect running around inside. The three girls squeal in fear, possibly wetting their pants. But all that is forgotten when they get to relax by the pool in their resort. While sipping on drinks, Casey laments that her future mother-in-law is trying to drive a wedge between her and her fiancé. They continue to party the night away by getting drunk, with Kirsten and Flirty dancing with the attractive men. As Casey gets drunker and drunker, her doubts about the wedding start to haunt her. She admits to the other girls that she thinks she might be making a huge mistake by marrying her fiancé, but Kirsten and Flirty do their best to assuage her doubts. They continue to party until dawn breaks. The three girls head to the beach to watch the sunrise. One of the men they've been dancing with last night approaches them and reveals that there is a hidden spring near the resort. He then draws them a map of that location. Up for an adventure, the three friends wade through the thick surrounding forest and find the spring. They immediately get into the water. Kirsten stays back near the shore because she's holding the camera. She looks closer at the rocks and sees small glittery pebbles on top. While they're swimming near the deeper part, Kirsten tells Casey that she should be honest with her fiancé about not wanting kids, especially since he has been vocal about his desire to be a father. Casey is evasive about this topic, and she looks uncomfortable. Their conversation is interrupted when Casey suddenly yells. She says that something in the water bit her. Kirsten plays a prank on her by pretending that something is yanking her deeper under the water. Casey berates her for her joke. She looks at her hip and sees a couple of bite marks, but she assures her friends that she's fine. After their Costa Rica trip, Casey flies back home. When she gets to her apartment, her fiancé is waiting for her. He delightedly shows her the wooden high chair that he had inherited from his parents. Casey is less than thrilled since she still hasn't told her fiancé that she doesn't want to be a mother. So she puts on a smile and pretends that she is happy. After her fiancé leaves for work, Casey goes upstairs to where her future mother-in-law is living. She also happens to be her building's landlord. As usual, the mother-in-law looks glum upon seeing Casey. It is no secret that she doesn't want Casey for her son. She scolds Casey for not taking care of the wedding planning and instead jetting off with her friends. She warns Casey that those are not the qualities of a good wife. Tired from butting heads with her cranky mother-in-law, Casey goes back to her apartment. She calls Flirty and reveals that she had lost her engagement ring back in Costa Rica. While unpacking, Casey sees the series of pictures they had taken at the night they had parties. Among the pictures is a shot of a hormone-rich man kissing Casey's cheek. She guiltily hides the photo away. She plugs in her digital camera and sees a video that her friends took of her and the man dancing so close to each other that night. Afterward, Casey clears her head by walking her elderly neighbor's dog, but she gets lost in her thoughts. Later that night, she calls Flirty in tears. She confesses that she wants to postpone the wedding because she isn't ready to be a wife and mother. Days later, Casey overhears an argument between her fiancé and the mother-in-law. She accuses Casey of cheating on her fiancé, but the fiancé takes Casey's side. They sit down for dinner. Casey is about to finally be honest with her fiancé, but she suddenly feels the overwhelming urge to vomit. She runs to the bathroom to puke. A strange sap-like substance comes out of her mouth. She feels a lot better after that. Later that night, she and her fiancé start to get intimate and smelly. However, the same clear substance begins to leak from the bite. She runs to the bathroom again and throws her fiancé out of her apartment. The morning after, Flirty comes to visit Casey, expecting that she had already broken up with her fiancé. But a distraught Casey tells her that she couldn't do it and that she has been feeling strange ever since they got back from Costa Rica. Casey watches some more of the footage from the camera during their trip. This video clip shows the aftermath of the intense party that night. A visibly upset Casey had run back to their hotel room and told her friends that she can't remember what had happened the night before. She had woken up naked on the beach, with her engagement ring and purse nowhere to be found. Casey then noticed that Flirty was filming her outburst. She screamed at her friend, and the camera was turned off. Casey gets even sicker. She is pale and has lost her appetite as well. She also continues to vomit. The bite mark on her hip looks even worse. Casey tries to take the neighbor's dog for a walk again, but for some reason, the dog doesn't want to go near her, possibly because she's too smelly. One day, Casey notices that there is still liquid coming out of the still-infected bite mark. Due to the endless vomiting, she decides to take a pregnancy test. 
It turns out positive, so Casey goes to consult a doctor regarding the bite mark, and he prescribes some medicine for her. But when she gets home from the pharmacy, her condition worsens. She has a fever and is visibly sweaty and weak. Casey lies down and sleeps, but she dreams that her fiancé and friends surprise her in her living room. They're throwing a party to celebrate her pregnancy. Suddenly, thousands of orange eggs drop from Casey's down. The party guests maniacally start stomping down on the eggs, and Casey begs them not to, possibly because she wants to save them for food. When she wakes up, she finds herself soaking in her bathtub. Her future mother-in-law is banging on the door and demanding to be let in. To her horror, Casey discovers insect eggs all over the apartment, just like in her dream. Her appearance has also worsened. She is paler and has wounds on her face. It now becomes clear that the strange insect that had bitten Casey in Costa Rica had infected her, and she is now mutating into a horrendous insect-like creature. The mother-in-law forces herself inside Casey's apartment. She complains about the smell and dirt in the apartment. The mother-in-law also glimpses the pregnancy test box on the counter and jumps to the conclusion that Casey cheated on her fiancé. She edges forward to attack Casey, and Casey retaliates by vomiting on her face. It turns out the vomit is a deadly acid, causing the mother-in-law to die a gruesome death. Casey is now twitching inhumanly, and she drags the mother-in-law's body into the bathroom. Days pass, and the fiancé is now worried about Casey. He knocks on her door and demands that they talk. But Casey is now halfway through her transformation. Her pupils are different, and her hair is falling out. Some strange webbing and liquid also cover her entire apartment. She tells her fiancé to leave and that she needs some time before they can get married. Meanwhile, Kirsten is also concerned about Casey. She goes to flirty and relays her worries, but the blonde girl is confident that Casey is alright. Kirsten points out that Casey is tormented with guilt about what happened in Costa Rica, but Flirty scoffs and says that Casey freely chose to cheat on her fiancé. Undeterred, Kirsten decides to visit Casey alone. She goes inside the apartment and sees how dirty, dark, and damp it is. She also discovers that Casey is keeping the mother-in-law's decomposing body in the bathtub. Kirsten recoils in horror, but Casey follows her and then accidentally places her hand on Kirsten's face and accidentally kills Kirsten with her deadly bodily fluids. Flirty meets with the fiancé in her car. They are parked right in front of their apartment building. Flirty shows him the video of Casey cheating on the fiancé with the hormone-rich man in Costa Rica. She uses this as an opportunity to seduce the fiancé to a smelly workout. Meanwhile, because of her mutated hearing, Casey can hear everything they are doing from her apartment. She seeds in rage at the betrayal of the two people closest to her. The fiancé leaves Flirty after their tryst and returns home to his apartment nearby. Flirty feels guilty and decides to visit Casey. She is astounded at the state of Casey's apartment. There is strange webbing everywhere and thousands of eggs encased inside them. In the middle of a huge glowing cocoon is Kirsten's dead body. Flirty screams in horror and Casey appears behind her. Casey now has an insect stinger protruding from her back. She uses this to injure Flirty and knock her out. Some while later, Flirty regains consciousness and realizes that she is encased in a cocoon and strapped to a chair. Casey forces her to watch a Daniel C.C. horror movie first and then the rest of the video footage from their Costa Rica trip. It turns out Casey was so drunk that the hormone-rich man took advantage of her and assaulted her. Flirty knew that Casey was too drunk to be aware of what was happening, but she let the man take Casey so she could have proof that Casey cheated on her fiancé. Flirty had been in love with Casey's fiancé for a long time, and this is why she had been encouraging Casey to break up with him. After the revelation, Casey forces Flirty to call out to her fiancé. Her screams lure him inside the apartment. Casey then slits Flirty's throat with her stinger, ending her flirting life. The fiancé watches as Flirty's blood drips from her throat, leading to her death. Casey next attacks her fiancé, but he manages to pin her mutated ass down to the floor. Casey pretends to be apologetic, and the fiancé lowers his guard. This gives her the opening to injure him with her stinger, but the fiancé fights back and stabs Casey in the chest, ultimately ending her mutated life. He even stomps down on her head and crushes her skull into mashed potato. The fiancé crawls back to his apartment and dials the police before passing out. One week later, the authorities quarantine the apartment to contain whatever deadly infection Casey got. They find the bodies of Flirty, Kirsten, and the mother-in-law inside the apartment. They next enter the fiancé's apartment. They find his mutilated body encased in a cocoon. He is still alive, but there are thousands of eggs inside of him. When the police try to help him, the insects hatch out of the eggs and engulf the authorities. The movie ends with two joggers discussing their upcoming trip to Costa Rica. One of them is bitten by an insect, but just dismisses it as a bug bite, signifying that there are more tragedies to come. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.